Welcome back to the show. Well, from one artist to another, albeit a different art form, I'm joined by Carol Ince. She is a local artist, has a new solo exhibit coming up uh, that I know you're excited about, Carol. But Carol, I thought, you know, a great start for, for our viewers that aren't familiar with yourself. Tell us a little bit about your, your background, your artistic background. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so grateful to be here. So I'm... Um, I am an artist now, but I need to tell you that I just retired uh, from a career in social services, a 40-year career in social services in Ottawa. Congratulations. But I have been preparing. Thank you. But I have been preparing my uh, this second career as an artist for a very long time. I'm not a formally trained artist, okay. uh, but I've been taking lots of courses, and I have been painting my theme is community people and community i think i've worked so long in the sec in the social service sector that i'm fascinated by people by vulnerabilities by resilience by success um so that's kind of my art background. I love it. Well, and, and what a what a, an amazing career. I mean, 40 years in, in social services, Carol. Uh, it must, you know, throughout that entire career, you must have been inspired. You know, as an artist, you must have been inspired about so many of the, the stories that you've come across. Absolutely, always. Um, and that's really kind of influence and will continue to influence my work um, forever. I'm sure. Yeah. Hey, Carol, I see some of your work behind you there. Let's talk about this, this new collection. It, it's uh, titled In Her Hands. Uh, tell us about this, this collection and, and what inspired you. Yeah, so this collection was created during lockdown. So okay. during the pandemic in a time that, I mean, for everybody was so stressful, um, there was a lot of, I mean, a lot of anxiety. There were a lot of other events that happened that were just so challenging. And I just absolutely had to focus on the good, the positive, the hopeful. Um, and I think there was so many also like kind of big issues that we have, we had some control over, but not a lot. And I also wanted to paint something that, that kind of, uh, that was more, that was smaller, more intimate, and that also demonstrated kind of our control in making kind of the world a better place. Right. And so that's where my focus was on women's hands and a tribute to women and a, tri and a tribute to, you know, how they use their hands to make the world a better place. You're also a recipient of uh, an Articipate grant, which is really exciting, Carol, because you've been able to do something really amazing. You and I spoke off camera and I said, I love art and the fact that we come up with our own stories. But there is a story behind each piece and you're able to tell that story through this grant. Tell us about that, Carol. Yeah, so the grant kind of allowed me two things. One is to actually exhibit in a professional kind of gallery space, which will be beautiful. And uh, the other thing, it allowed me to create an, an ebook with QR codes. So okay. at the exhibit, there are QR codes that will be placed by each painting. And so the viewer can then, you know, use their phone to access an ebook or access a page to each painting which will tell the story behind or the story of the person or actually the story in their own words many right. many uh, there are 60 paintings so many people wrote their own their own story or they actually sent a video so you would have access to all the stories of these 60 women I think, yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing what we can, how we can use technology for good. I, you know, sometimes when we think of technology, we get this uh, negative connotation. But this is so wonderful, and that you have stories of of other people. It's not just you telling a story. It's actually the people that I guess inspired you for some of these paintings to to share their own story. Another underlying theme you mentioned, Carol, in in the the points that you sent along, was um, that underlying theme um, of, of touch. And it's something we've been missing as well, right? Oh, well, that's right. And in, um, I mean, I did a real deep dive into kind of women's hands and some of the themes and touch came up. I mean, I read a book, I, I listened to podcasts, and I tried to really understand, um, especially during lockdown, the impact of the lack of touch on people, uh, which is like crazy critical, critical for people's physical health and mental health. Um, 
And so I wanted to, and I was surrounded by these hands. So I always felt yeah. that I was surrounded by <laughs> touch, even though it wasn't, it was kind of not like tact, tactile. Yeah. We also live, you know, in a world of virtual reality. We like e-date and e, you know, e-bank and e-everything. So the opportunity to be with people and to touch people is, feels like it's farther and farther from our reality. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Carol, thanks so much for joining us and, and congratulations on this new solo exhibit. I'll share with our viewers at home, by the way, the solo exhibit, um, it uh, opens on June the 28th and you have plenty of time. It runs until August the 14th. It's at the beautiful Shankman Arts Centre. You can check out more on the website. We'll be back with more right after this.